hey, I've got a video out already. It's the most exhaustive, biblical, 100% true, no opinion proof from the Bible that Barack Hussein Obama matches all 19 characteristics of the future Antichrist. This is going to be part two. I'm going to be piggybacking that video onto this one so you can have them both together because you'll want to watch them both. If you haven't seen them both, you want to see them. If you haven't seen that one, you want to see it. If, if, you, if you have seen it, you want to see it again to, to piggyback with this. So let's start with what I've got from the first video, just the basic, that the Antichrist, for those of us who have wisdom, we look and see the number of a man, which is 666, Barack Obama's name, Barack Hussein Obama has 18 letters, it's three names, 18 divided by 3 is 6, 3 6 is, is 666, the number of the beast. Now this is new stuff that I've all come up with that wasn't in the, in the last video. I just discovered the first computer ever sold for personal use was sold for $666.66. Six 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 six. I'm certain the computer network will play a huge role in the upcoming beast system that happens after the imminent rapture. So isn't it interesting that the first one sold, the number matches the number of the beast with two more sixes added for good measure? Speaking of that, uh, the Antichrist, uh, a.k.a. Barack Obama, recently gave back a portion of his salary, which he claims he was overpaid. Guess how much he gave back? Six thousand six hundred. Sixty-six dollars and six-six cents. Six-six-six, six-six-six. Obama is depicted as Christ or God on an innumerable number of magazines, pictures, paintings, and drawings. There is a website. I go ahead and go to this link. www. five doves. F i v e d o v e s. dot com slash a C slash K A V I N H H as in hotel three one nine dot htm that's www dot five doves dot com slash A C slash Kevin H three one nine dot htm it has an article where Obama his name Barack and matches the six hundred sixty six degrees of a circle. You want to look at it. It's math, math done. Very, very interesting. Check this one out. Anybody have any doubts here? Is it pretty, pretty much clear what's going on? You got a bomb for president running over here on the left, and you've got California six six six. The rest of the license plate it says on the website was obscured because of privacy. I understand that. But California six six six, right next to uh, Obama for president. The Antichrist. Very interesting. Next, I knew about one of these, never knew about the other other ones until I researched further. In each of the following, on the day it occurred, the Illinois Lottery winning number was 666 each time. On January 16, 2008, one year after the anniversary, the one year anniversary of Obama announcing his candidacy for president, the lottery in his home turf, his stomping grounds of Illinois was 666. 22 March 2008, New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson endorses Obama, and Hillary Clinton's campaign fades away. On that day, the lottery in Illinois was 666. 23 October 2008, the New York Times officially endorses Obama. The lottery that day was 666, and of course on November 5, 2008, Obama wins the general election, defeats John McCain for president. The lottery on that day was 666. Here's some final musings on 666 and Obama. When Barack Hussein Obama leaves the White House by 20 January 2017, it will have been 666 months from the month he was born. You got that? Now we got the 216 connection. 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. The number 216 has extensive links to a cult phenomenon. This includes the fact that 216, as I said, is 6 times 6 times 6. This means 216 is the Illuminist, the Illuminati code for 666. Let's check a few of these out, shall we? Barack Obama was born on 4 August 1961, the 216th day of the year, 666. Barack Hussein Obama was born, uh, supposedly, Honolulu, Hawaii, 
is 221.6 latitude. 666. He obtains the passage of Obamacare legislation with a very odd requirement that he made just for that one vote of 216 votes required to win. 666. All other votes are almost always require 218 votes to pass. And then going back, just to reiterate a few other things while I got you here in case you missed the other video, his 2008 campaign slogan, Yes We Can, when backmasked, clearly says, Thank you, Satan. Look it up on YouTube. Look all this stuff up. It's, it's all readily available online. You can see the Antichrist beaming as millions of people everywhere are thanking his God, Satan, right along with him, as he does. His favorite limos, named the Beast. Doctors have stated the best place for the RFID chip in Obamacare when he finally makes it mandatory. It was going to be this year. He's got a tentative date now of around 2017. If the rapture happens sometime this year, which it may or may not, that put that date right about mid-trib when the Antichrist desecrates the temple and goes after Jews and Christians. That'll be about the time when the Mark of the Beast would be made mandatory by then definitely. But the doctors have said the best place to put this RFID chip is either in the hand or in the forehead. His Chicago zip code was 60606. And again, that's where he was a state senator. Before he became a U.S. senator, that's when he was a community organizer. That was his stomping grounds, his home. And the Bible scripture in Hebrew where it says, Satan fell from the heights like lightning, is pronounced Barak, B-A-R-A-Q, O or U, Bamao, B-A-M-A-W, Barak Obamao, Obamao. Satan fell from the heights like lightning. And again, I got the other videos going to be attached. So my friends, I have another video coming out where the Holy Spirit explains to me why so few Christians understand who this man really is. Uh, that's all I'll tell you for now. That video, that video will be out next week, Lord willing. But if you don't understand by all that I've showed you, and before, by the way, before I came up with all this new stuff that I've got now, the odds of anyone besides this man being the Antichrist was 1 in 303 centillions. That's a, a thousand zeros, I believe, after the 303. Now it's going to be, it might be infinity. One in infinity, I don't know. I have to redo the math on it. I might come up with that again later sometime. But understand, if you don't know who this guy is by now, you're probably never going to know. And it's just pathetic and it's too bad. If anyone does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if you've never been saved, do you believe the lie of once saved, always saved? It teaches that once you get saved, all you have to do is just live your life. Sin don't matter. i got some bad news for you. I've dug through the KJV Bible. I've got at least 250 scripture and commentary. It's not your words, it's not my words, it's God's word. And God's word says at least 250 times, if you do not repent of your sins after you're saved, you will not step foot into heaven, Christian. So you need to decide for yourself if you're going to get right or you're going to just keep being backslidden, get left behind and possibly wake up in hell. But I'm telling you, my friends, you think this guy is bad right now? Wait until after we leave and the imminent rapture happens in, a, in the few Christians who are the true bride of Christ who repent of our sins and have spotless garments are in heaven. This guy's going to be a billion times worse than he is now. You've got to watch part one of this video, which again, I'm going to link right below in the comments. You've got to watch part one because it has all the 19 scripture that prove this guy is the only man in the entire world that matches who the Antichrist is. It's got tons more stuff as well. So if you fall in one of those two groups, let's have a word of prayer so you can know Jesus is Lord and Savior or come back to him before it's too late. Let's go ahead and have a word of prayer. Jesus, I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven. Please forgive me of my sins. Clean my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a child of the King, a new creature in Christ. In your precious name I ask this. Amen. Next, get you a King James Version Bible. Read it daily. It will feed your spirit and soul. Will you feed your body with food and water? Pray to Jesus daily. He's your new best friend. wants to talk with you every day. Make sure you find a Christian church and get water baptized. Don't throw water. If you were sprinkled baptized in the past, it does not count. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctified, used by praying, reading the Bible, living for Jesus. Take your KJV Bible to church when the preacher speaks, make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find a new church. And lastly, very important, make sure you repent of everything you do now after you're saved. Ask Jesus to forgive you with an honest heart, and he will. If anyone has a prayer request from me, anything from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. Praise the Lord. When I prayed for it, he gave it to me. And if you ask me to, I'll pray for you every day without fail, knowing that God will answer that prayer, perform that miracle, if it's in his holy will. And if he does, it's all through him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Let's wake up, my friends. You don't want to be left behind for the, for the great tribulation. It's going to be seven years of hell on earth where 
It makes today look like Disneyland, and, and, and two thirds of the, of the human population are going to die, and, and rivers, oceans, lakes, streams are going to just be just decimated. You're going to have 100 pound hailstones falling out of the sky, insects coming out of the, 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 the pits of hell that will sting you. And so you, and you want to die, but you can't. It'll sting you for months. The sun's so hot, it gives you 30 degree burns. Famine, plague, pestilence, homelessness, joblessness, disease, suffering, heartache, like you've never imagined in your entire life. I love you guys. This is why I do this. And I pray for you. I just pray you come to Jesus or come back to Him if you're backslidden. If you're a true Christian, let's get out, witness, and pray every day where we still got time. May God bless you. Have a good night. Thank you.